not where I want to be right now. I want to be on the other side of this storm. Need to get in front of this storm so I can shoot my time lapse. Storm Prediction Center issues a severe storm outlook highlighting 10% tornado risk areas for northern Iowa and western South Dakota. Defying SPC percentages, I formulate my own personal forecast on the Nebraska-South Dakota border. Under a hot sun, I position on the banks of the Missouri River at Yankton, South Dakota and start praying a storm can develop through the capped atmosphere. My battle-worn power plant has a busted radiator and is prone to overheating. With a spit and a snarl and a hiss, it lets me know it's time to add coolant while I wait in Yankton for a storm. Me and my truck ride with a hot and bothered attitude. Then I notice a radar return indicating storm initiation just south of town. With a sense of relief, I leave out of Yankton with the satisfaction my forecast has verified. I've spent the day fearing a cat bus, so this towering cumulus cloud is a welcome sight. I position on Highway 81 and shoot my first time lapse of the day. This pastoral scene is the birth of a supercell thunderstorm. I can hear it rumbling from within like a baby dinosaur. I also notice a rapidly developing storm base. Development becomes explosive as I move east with the storm. When I arrive at Hardington, I can hardly believe my eyes. I hurriedly plant my tripods and begin shooting my second time lapse of the day. Sirens blaring, it's time to get the hell out of Harding. I'm now behind the storm and need to play leapfrog to get back in the front. But I can't jump over it, I'll have to drive under it. This is not where I want to be right now, I want to be on the other side of this storm. Need to get in front of this storm so I can shoot my time lapse. I now have a developing tornado on my right. As a time-lapse shooter, I'm required to lead the storm by a considerable margin so I can stand and face it with stationary cameras. So it's a horse race to Cole Ridge where I'll stop and make my stand. But first, this moment of zen as the initial tornado ropes out. The storm is now recycling. I hope that affords me enough time to reposition and place my cameras for the next tornado. Finally, I locate a new position with a clean view of the storm. no tornado yet, but in the brief seconds it takes me to make this 360 degree turn, the storm plant's a big one. Release the Kraken! Your second moment of zen bird chirping on a wire in a big tornado. And now, back to the Kraken.
storm is recycling, but the sun is going down. With expectations low, I reposition once again near the town of Laurel. Noting the storm still has warm inflow and a hot rear flank downdraft, I witness this amazing multi-vortex wedge tornado in the dark. As the storm provides its own illumination with stroboscopic lightning, I make my fourth and final time-lapse movie of the day. Riding west out of Laurel, the mind attempts to map everything I've witnessed today. It was like an entire season wrapped into one evening, and most astonishingly, contained within a neat little box, bound 13 miles by 20. A once-in-a-lifetime storm, perhaps. But there will be new storms in the Dakotas tomorrow, so with this destination in mind, I turn north because the road goes on forever and the chase never ends.